Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? How you feeling? Welcome to this week's episode of Search and Report. I'm your host, True Fernie. And without further ado, how you doing? How, how you holding up? Y'all doing okay? Okay, I hope so. Hope you're all doing fine. But with that, let's get straight into the first news item of the week. As probably it's become almost tradition at this point that we get a leak at least every month or so from Nintendo, but we got another big leak and this one has to do with Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's just to, you know, cover my ass. Uh, I will not be showing any images regarding this leak. I of course have linked down below all my sources. So if you wanna go ahead and check out these leaks, go ahead and click down below. But there's been a uh, a March 2008 build leak from po Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, alongside a December 27th build of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. These of course are builds, so they are playable, but not enough about the source code is yet known. I'm quite unsure if this means that the game so Sword and Shield actually used the same engine, the same assets as Sun and Moon. It's still unknown. Here, a Twitter account Lechuv. Um, says they seem to use Sun and Moon as a base and had a mini map at one point. It, it seems to show Alola's Royal Avenue. Screenshots show a work in progress train station, Route 1, and Hop's house. B Drill, which is not in the final game, is in the background and is replaced on Route 1 by Butterfree. There is also a myriad of more information regarding Sword and Shield. There also there was also a leak showing a completely different, obviously a completely different logo for the title. It also shows some uh, what is essentially a mock-up piece of art for the for the cover art for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which in my opinion looks way better. It looks way better than what we currently had for Sword and Shield. I mean, it looks way more interesting. It looks way more developed. It looks way more just nicer to look at. Some people relaying this information do say that this does need some dev work in order to be playable. Um, but some people have been able to put this on the Switch and run it through um, using Switch hardware. So. It's just it's interesting to see just how the dev works, the 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 the, the UI works for the dev side on on a game such as this with such high class. Um, this obviously brought back a lot of criticisms regarding Pokemon Sword Shield's development time. Um, obviously, a lot of people say that one year is not enough to develop a Pokemon game, especially given just how large how large of a world Pokemon is. Talking about their, the Pokemons, all the different versions of each Pokemon, the evolutions, etc., etc. I mean, it's, a, it's a, basically its own ecosystem at this point with, with all the different types of Pokemons. But it was interesting to see just how many leaks are coming just from, I'm guessing this has to do with the Nintendo Giga leak that happened a few months prior to this. It, it'll be interesting to see what else gets leaked. Of course, we also got a leaked or a, a december 2017 built from pokemon let's go a lot of the assets from pokemon let's go have been actually used in this uh, pokemon sword and shield early build you can see some of the backgrounds and, and some of the areas that come from pokemon let's go pikachu and eevee just just a whole myriad of stuff um obviously it's linked down below but proceed with caution i mean if you're going to be talking about this please make sure to not share any images because we know how the nintendo how the pokemon company is we know how nintendo is so be safe out there now for a second news item of the week we got announced we got an announcement from nintendo that they are localizing fire emblem shadow dragon and the blade of light for switch for the first time ever in english here in nintendo everything reports Nintendo has announced that it's bringing the classic Famicom game Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light to Switch. Um, it's getting a worldwide release and will be available in English for the very first time. It will be sold digitally for the Switch starting on December 4th for $5.99. Um, retailers will be selling a Fire Emblem 30th Anniversary Edition for $49.99, which includes a physical NES box and replica NES game pack art piece with a Protectix Protective Sleeve, a 222-page Legacy of Arcania Deluxe Heartbound Art Book, Game Download Code, NES Instruction Manual, Foldout World Map, and a Mini Nintendo Power Retro Collectible. The game, however, will only be offered until March 31st of 2021. I mean, first of all, this is something, this is great news because this just 
brought out a huge response for people calling for other games such as Mother 3 to be localized. It actually started trending on Twitter uh, for, you know, from people calling Mother 3 to be localized. But obviously this was also met with a lot of flack. Um, this is the probably the second announcement in recent Nintendo history of them making limited releases. Obviously the first one being uh, Super Mario 3 All-Stars, which will only be available as well until March of 2021. The, the reasoning behind making these limited releases, there's a lot of speculation. People saying that the games are going to be re-released as either mastered, uh, remastered versions. People are saying that they're just going to be brought into the um, some sort of NSO app service. But obviously people are not happy about this. I mean, the reasoning behind it is still skewed, so people don't actually know. But if you are a big Fire Emblem fan, this is a first. This is a historical release that's coming to the switch and if you are looking to get it i mean there will be a physical release it's only a digital code but it comes with all these other goodies of course so i mean be out on the lookout for this it obviously comes out on december 4th so be sure to check that out nintendo did release a full trailer with it um, for this for this release so uh, be sure to check it out i'll link it down below as well and for our third news item of the week we got Kojima Productions is officially looking for new team members for the development of a new project. Here Kojima Productions tweeted, Kojima Productions confirms a new project is in development and is looking to hire the best in class talent to work out of our Tokyo studio. For more information on the openings and requirements, please visit us, visit our website at, at kojimaproductions.jp. We do not know what kind of project this is. There hasn't been any speculation as to what the new project is. Obviously, people are very excited, you know, given that you know, Death Stranding got a, a, a really, really good reception. But still, it's all up in the air. This is exciting news, though, for uh, Kojima Productions fans. Um, there's still no information as to what the new project is. Um, I will keep my ear to this. It, it, it Kojima Productions are obviously good developers. They put out some amazing looking games. So yeah, be up on the lookout for new titles coming from Kojima Productions. And for our final news item of the week, Nintendo being Nintendo. Nintendo is apparently permanently reducing the price of Switch Joy-Cons. No, not, not, not the bundle, not the two, just one just it's really it's it's reducing the price on the price of a single joy con here nintendo live reports uh the single joy con products below will be reduced from 49.99 to 39.99 starting from the 9th of november while this is a welcome change it's worth noting that 39.99 is exactly half the price of a full set of joy cons so buying two individually is still sadly no cheaper than buying a pair. Nintendo is 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 a very hard company to defend nowadays, especially with the limit, limited releases, especially with just the pricing behind their products, the pricing behind the controllers, their their negligence when it comes to addressing Joy-Con drift and you know giving people options to repairing them. I'm a, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I, I, I grew up with Nintendo. My first console was was an SNES. Um, I've been a loyal fan to their games. I've been a loyal fan to their franchises. The Legend of Zelda is my favorite game, uh, video game franchise of all time. But with stuff like this, with, fine, with, with, with knowing that Nintendo is one of the richest companies in Japan of all time, of all history, and them still pulling off this sort of a business practice is very very worrisome it it, it gives it gives it gives off a good a, an, a wrong image of the company it gives off you know the image that nintendo just obviously does not care about giving their player base options um especially because joy cons it's probably one of the only ways that a lot of people get to interact with these games you know it's the controllers that already come with the console they, they should be the ones that are the least effective at least obviously you know i have a, a variety of game a variety of controllers that i use to play with the switch but i have been needing to replace my joy cons or at least the 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 joysticks a few times because the drift is something that keeps popping up it doesn't matter how many times i clean it doesn't matter just um even if i replace it like it still happens 
So it's obviously an engineering problem. It's obviously a design problem. And Nintendo denying its user base from from solutions, not giving them enough options to to fix this is is worrisome because this is going to put off a lot of people. Like, there's people who are obviously huge Nintendo fans, but there are also people who don't have the luxury of buying new Switch Joy Cons every single time they have drift. To me, a welcome price. I know this is this is all this is all an opinion piece at this point. This is no longer news. To me, at this point, a a bigger reduction on the single Joy Con would have been met with a lot more in, in a more a lot more friendly manner. But like thirty nine ninety nine is still like Nintendo Life says is still only half the price of a full set of joy cons w where's the value in that you know hopefully nintendo changes this attitude um there are rumors that we will be getting a revision of a switch either that be as a switch pro that be as a with a better battery life I, I mean it's still up in the air what kind of upgrade we're getting but still it's 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 really worrisome it's worrisome for me um because it'll be harder for me to excuse buying a enhanced version of a switch if the biggest problem being the the joy cons isn't fixed or isn't revised then why would i buy a revised switch version if this joy con drift is still going to be an issue and obviously the 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 options to replace it are basically no i don't know you tell me what you think um what do you think kojima productions is working on is it a new title completely is it a metal gear solid title i mean is it death stranding 2 i don't know please let me know down below what do you think of these leaks from pokemon that you know pokemon sword and shield does seem to have been built off of a sun and moon um design architecture of some sort what do you think of these leaks are they really that damaging to pokemon and nintendo me in my opinion i think it's doing a it's showing just how bad nintendo and pokemon are at handling criticism at handling um their development times i mean they they seem to be losing track of what their games used to be all about um and what do you think about these lim limited releases that nintendo has been recently um been putting out you know with fire emblem um such an iconic title coming to being localized to um, uh, north america or to the west is obviously such a huge deal you would think that they would put at least give out a reason as to why it's a limited release is there going to be a remastered version for the switch coming out is there going to be you know more accessibility to these older games or to these localized games in the future i mean i would hope i would love nintendo to be more transparent about this but we'll have to see but i've been true for any if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe links to my socials are down below please make sure to follow me on twitch where i am an affiliate so a lot of your support down there is actually materialized in, in monetary ways so that just helps to invest more into my content to invest more in in in, in equipment to invest more in just just the, the quality of, of these videos and the streams so please make sure to follow me on twitch and um, subscribe if you're able to but even just a follow is, is more than appreciated. Folks, please take care of each other, but most importantly, take care of yourself. Please wear a mask. Peace.